a few questions to start with. What book of the Bible are we reading at church at the moment? Anyone? Dan, I know you know this. Genesis, Leah, well done. We are. And who, whose story are we following along? Do you remember who? Joseph. Yes, that's right. Okay, here's a tricky question. Who is Joseph's dad? Oh. Ooh, close. Brody, do you remember? He's got two names, yeah? Yes, Jacob, well done. Jacob, what, what is another name that people sometimes call Jacob? Hmm, if you've seen the musical Joseph and the Amazing Technical Dreamcoat, this is in one of the songs, Brody. Israel, that's right. Okay, so we're talking about, we've been going through Genesis for a while and we're talking about Jacob and his family. He had how many sons? Twelve sons, that's right. And we're talking about one of the sons. And we're following along his story. And where did he end up last week? In prison, that's right. He's in prison. So we're starting off the story this time. Oh my gosh, it doesn't look good for Joseph, does it? He's in prison. He didn't do anything wrong, but he got put in prison. What is going to happen? So, Huey, do you want to hold up your sheet? Today, we're looking at the part of the story when something a bit strange happens to Joseph, two of the other prisoners come along to him and they say, oh, we're having so much trouble. We've had some crazy dreams and we can't work out what they mean. And Joseph says to them, well, of course you can't work out what they mean. Only God can tell you what they mean. And they tell him their dreams and God helps Joseph tell them what they mean. So one of them has a dream about some grapes and turning it into a drink and giving the drink to Pharaoh. Bit of a strange dream, but we'll all listen when Bernard reads out the, the whole story to us later. And the other one has a dream about he's got a basket of bread on his head and some birds come down and eat it. Another crazy dream, but Joseph tells him what, what he thinks that means, okay? Because God helps Joseph. So the trick for us is when we read a kind of a crazy story like this, how do we work out what it means for us? So I want you to learn two things from Joseph. Even though he's in prison, he's having to tell people what crazy dreams mean. The first one, the first thing he said when they said, we can't work this out, he said, of course you can't. Interpreting dream, that's God's job. He knows who God is. He knows God so, so well. So he knows what's God's job and what's people's job. So how are we going to get to know God well so we can be like Joseph and know him too? How do you think you can get to know God really well? Dan? You can learn all about him. Alice, what do you think? Yeah? And how do we get to know him better? How do we know what he's like? Bride, what do you think? Read the Bible is, is one of the best ways. Molly, what do you think? Go to church. I think there are two really great ways. You can read the Bible and you can come to church. You can talk to all the other people who know God and love him about what they know about God and why they love him. So this week, try and get to know God a bit better, okay, because that's something we can learn from Joseph. He knew God really well. Another thing we can do is keep on trusting God. So Alice said we trust him, okay? So Joseph knew he was in prison. Things were not looking very good. Sometimes for us, we have a hard old time too. Things might, you might not understand what's happening, but don't worry, you can still trust God and we can trust him that he's still looking after us and that he really loves us and he's caring for us. Okay, so why don't we pray together. Oh, Millie, do you want to hold up your sheet? You've got lots of interesting sheets to do. There's so many. There's ones that are good for the little ones. There's ones that are good for the big ones. So you've got some codes to do. You've got some mazes. There's a really hard maze and a really easy maze. And if anyone can do the whole code, come and show me afterwards because I will be amazed. Okay? So let's pray together now that we can get to know God better and that we can trust him just like Joseph. Dear God, Thank you that you love us and you look after us. Thank you for all the children here and that you love them and are looking after them. Please help them all get to know you better this week by reading the Bible and by coming to church and by talking to other people who love you. And please help us all to know, Lord, that we can trust you all the time, every day, in any situation, just like Joseph. Amen.